noisy guitars piss me off. Hey peeps, Phil here from Rising Sun Guitar Mods. Noisy grounding issues with your guitar? Here's three common places to look. Let's get at it. So I've got this Court guitar, pretty underrated guitars. I actually really enjoy this guitar. I gave it a quick setup and it plays really beautifully. And it's got a really, really cool sound with these P90 style pickups, but it's noisy. I mean like, keep you up at nighttime type noisy. Check this out. Now I don't know about you, but noisy guitars, ugh. I've got a pretty good idea what's wrong with this one. But in case you want to know, I'm going to show you my three places that are usually the culprit. The first thing that you can check is get the hum going. I know that's pretty horrible to listen to, but we need it here for now. First thing to check is touch the bridge. Does it quieten it down? Bridge and strings, not working. So I mean, that tells me that it's probably most likely the wire from the bridge to the earth is either dry solder or it's come off or something like that. That's pretty straightforward. That's an easy test. If you touch that and it doesn't shut up, it's usually going to be that. That was easy. <laughs> the three most common causes that I find are usually going to be either the bridge to ground, a dry solder joint somewhere in your electronics, or your input jack. And those are really the three most common places that it will cause grounding issues. In this you've got a cavity here and you've got a cavity here because you've got the switch up here. Now some tests you can do, even before you take the guitar apart, is get it making some noise. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's making noise. You touch the metal parts. There we go, that quietens down. So we know that there is a ground between the switch, the pots, and the output jack. So that means it's not gonna be the output jack. So I can almost guarantee if I touch the metal strand of the output jack, it goes quiet too. So, number one is the metal parts on your guitar. If they quieten down, you're good. Number two, which is usually the most common, bridge, to tone that wire on a strat, it, it goes into the spring cavity at the back and then in, in through into your pots. On these style, which has got your tunematic, it'll go from a tunematic post to the pots. Now, if you touch your bridge, it should quieten down in theory. That got worse. That tells me there's an issue with the wire that goes from the bridge to the cavity in the back. It's probably got a dry solder joint or it's broken, someone's taken it apart and it's broken. That's a pretty easy fix. The other things that can happen is if it doesn't quieten down when you touch the jack, it's usually gonna be the wire on the jack. Maybe someone's twisted that one too many times and broken the wire. Um, if you touch over here and it doesn't quieten down, it might be an earth wire off over there. All these things can cause hum. Now I'm talking more hum than you would get just from the guitar not being insulated. Hear this, that's, that's a grounding problem. If your guitar is just a little bit noisy, don't know if you can hear that, tiny little bit noisy, it might need some shielding in the underneath your pit guard and in the pickup cavities. I'm pretty sure these courts have got shielding paint in them, but we can have a look at that later on. I'm going with the earth wire from the bridge to the pots and that's without even opening it just by touching a few things and having a look so let's crack her open see what it is okay then so let's uh crack this puppy open see what we've got here if we're having problems with the um with the main switch on the front if you touch that and it wasn't going to ground you'd probably take off a few of the extra bits and pieces but we know that it's going to be a problem in here just from the fact that when we touch the bridge, that seemed to quieten it down. So that's that's where our issue's gonna be. I have no doubt about it. It's got shielding on the back of that, which is good. And yep, like I said, the cavity is coated with a uh, shielding paint. 
Oh, <laughs> well that's a surprise. I found the problem already, which I'll, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's interesting. We'll have to remedy that, but anyways, getting on with it. You want a multimeter. Get this guy onto continuity. This one around here. What that basically means is when you touch these guys together, you should get a beep. My multimeter's a little shagged. It's not beeping, but it is giving me a reading. I'll pop it there so you can see. When I touch them together, see I get a reading. There's no beep happening, but I know the continuity is there by looking at the screen. So, for instance, what you should get here is when you touch your pots and then touch the output jack or any of the metal around it, you should get continuity. See? Boom. If you weren't getting continuity here and nothing was happening on your multimeter, it's going to be that earth that runs through to your jack. That's one of the places. The other thing to do is to just touch the paint. So this one's got shielding paint. Sometimes you might have foil tape or something like that. And in the back of a pot, you should get continuity there as well. If you don't, then the connection to the paint or the tape is not there. And that can cause grounding issues as well. Another thing you wanna do as well is just test all of the metal parts, your pots, make sure they're grounding as well. Um, you can take the back cover off this and test the switch in there as well, just touch any of the metal parts. All of your metal parts should ground. Now, what this guitar is not doing is if I touch a metal part here and I touch the bridge, I can guarantee you that we get no continuity. So I'll touch the metal part. Oops, make it so you can see my screen. Touch a metal part, touch the bridge and nothing. So we know that the ground that goes to your bridge, which touches the strings, which touches your hands, which makes your guitar shut the hell up, that's got an issue. Another test is touch here, make it so you can see, and then the metal part of your switch, you touch that, that should give you some continuity as well. You can do this on a Stratocaster too, the metal part of the switch, touch that, touch your metal part on your output jack, it should ground. So, we know that it's the wire to the bridge. The surprising part on this guitar that I wasn't prepared for, and that's got me a little baffled actually, I don't know if this is a factory problem or what it is. You can see, I don't know if you can see here on camera. Yeah, you can look. So, this hole, that hole right there, that's where your grounding wire is meant to come out and attach the back of one of your pots. This guitar is missing it all together, which is baffling. But anyway, I don't know if someone's pulled it apart and just not put it back or if they forgot to put it in at the factory. I mean, quartz are a cheap guitar. It's likely it went through the factory really fast and just didn't get put on. In saying they're a cheap guitar, sorry, they're an affordable guitar, but underrated, I think they're great guitars. This one's just missing a wire, it's an easy fix. Let's run through it. With this type of repair, I will have to pull off the saddle, but that's for another video. I'll just show you where that wire is meant to go. So I wanted this to just be a nice quick video, so I didn't show you me taking all the strings off it and pulling the pole piece out and reconnecting that. I might save that for another video. This was meant to be a nice quick, the wire is most likely broken. So that being said, sometimes this wire here, which goes through to the bridge, might be just broken, come apart, have a dry solder joint, that type of thing. It's a pretty straightforward fix. So while I'm waiting for my soldering iron to warm up, if you wanna see the process of taking the pole piece out of the bridge, um, you need to use a bit of heat and make sure you don't crack the finish. But if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. I'll put together a video on that as well. All right, we have a hot soldering iron. So, this is a brand new wire in here. I like to use the pushback vintage style wiring, the cloth wiring. 
I don't know, I just like it. Probably does the same job as the plastic stuff, it just seems a bit, I don't know, it's a bit more like it's made for guitars. So find a nice spot for that to go. Same deal with all your other wiring. Try and do it as neat as you can. Don't put big globs of solder everywhere. It's not needed. As long as you've got a nice clean solder connection. Again, don't blow on your solder. Try not to move it while it's drying off. When your solder flashes off, it should remain shiny. If your solder goes kind of a hazy looking color, that's a cold joint, you, you, you need to take that solder off with a bit of solder wick or a solder sucker and then add some new solder and do it again. You don't want the hazy looking solder because that will give you grief later on. So once you're done with your soldering and stuff, it's always a good idea just to test for your continuity. Touch a pot and touch a string and look at that, we have bridge grounding. Let's put it back together and see what's cracking. Again, long screwdriver. See the long shaft? What this does is it helps you to prevent you from going like this when you're doing up your screws. It's easier to do with a, with a smaller screwdriver. It makes it easier to strip screws. Nice long screwdriver. And in it goes nice and easy. Now, don't tighten these with a monkey wrench grip. It only needs to be done up to a finger tight point, you know what? Seriously, two fingers is not even really that tight. It needs to be firm so it doesn't work its way loose. But don't crank these down. You crank these down, you end up breaking your, your plastics. Just do it nice and firm so that they're not coming out. It's not like you're holding anything substantial on there. It's only a cover. Just for confirmation, let's get the multimeter going again. One on the bridge and one over here on the output jack and we should have continuity and there it is now this should go anywhere you go so even from the bridge to the switch you should now have continuity and there it is boom continuity everywhere which means now when we touch the strings we should have grounding let's see if we've still got some noise turn her up and already the guitar's almost dead silent grounding issue solved when we touch. Okay, here we go, we'll get some, get some noise going. There we go, you can get some noise. A little bit of noise over the pickups. But as soon as we touch that bridge, she's dead silent. Touching the strings, dead silent. It's gonna need a tune. 